A massive multi-state hacking ring is taken down with the help of a local mom who overheard something bad happening inside her own home. As Nick Monticelli explains, she caught her son taking part in a scam and then made the difficult decision to turn him in. So all of this is going to be a lot to take in. There's a whole lot of high tech words here. Some things you may have not even heard yet, but the bottom line is that this was a very high tech scam running all over the country and there was a member of it in Canton. That's how the whole thing was busted because his mom overheard him on the phone. For the majority of us, it's one of those things we simply cannot be without. But the latest scam that's surfacing proves just how vulnerable our cell phones can make us, especially if you store personal information on one. According to police records, the scam all centers around this. It's called a SIM card. It's inside of your cell phone and it holds a lot of your data. This scam was uncovered because of a mother in Canton. She overheard her son pretending to be an AT&T worker. She called police and among other things, they found stolen SIM cards, which were later linked to seven victims in seven states, including California, Utah, Texas, Michigan, New York, Vermont and North Carolina. But that Canton man was allegedly part of a much larger ring working with eight others. They would either impersonate cell phone company employees to get your information, hack your personal information, allowing them to order new SIM cards or hack the SIM cards themselves, which gives them access to cell phones and personal information. Then they were able to steal hundreds of thousands of dollars. But how can you protect yourself? It's fairly tricky considering this high tech scam. The best advice is to not keep personal information on your cell phone, like social security numbers or passwords. Also keep an eye on your bill. It should note if a new SIM card was ordered. And finally, a cell phone company will never call you asking to verify personal information. And we are also still trying to figure out exactly what charges that Canton man is going to face. In the newsroom, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.